often are you out and you've got your camera and you want to take photos of small things or you're inside and it's quite dark and you need to use an aperture of 2.8 but you want to actually get the whole thing in focus and you know at, at a 2.8 aperture a wide aperture the front's going to be in focus the back's going to be out of focus if you put that into a composite that is fully in focus it's just not going to match up so how do you when you're out and about get everything in focus without setting up with you know a big tripod and you know making uh, it really obvious what you're doing how do you actually do that well there's a couple of methods to it both ways are focus stacking and I'm going to show you both methods right now so that when you're out next time with your camera you can use one or the other if you've got a case there which is what I've got on the top here you can use this with an app on your phone if you don't have a case here you can actually do it manually and there's a way to uh, put it all together later on So we're in a, an antique store and I found this awesome um, self-heating ironing big picture thing. <laughs> it looks great, it's rustic and it's, it's amazing but we're in quite a dark scene and if I don't want my ISO to be up too high I need to photograph on my widest aperture. Now if I photograph from the front, this front bit's going to be in focus, this back bit's going to be out of focus. So I want to be able to bring all of it in focus without getting the tripod out and so I'm going to show you how I do that now. Yeah, the manual way to do this is to actually focus on different points and take the photos in as close as you can get to the, the same spot. So I'm trying not to move and first shot that I take is going to be of the front. So I'm focusing on that front point and I'm going to focus and be on F 2.8 my ISO is 6400 so it's still quite high but it's manageable on this camera so I take the photo now I keep the camera at exactly the same point and then I focus on the middle part of the box so I focus I change my focus points in camera and I click and the point that I'm focusing on is actually right here and then I'm going to focus on this point here so I've got three focus points that I'm changing and then I can merge it together. So I'll just go from the start and stay at exactly the same position. So front and focusing on the middle and focusing on that very end tip. Okay, now I check what I've got. And so I've got three shots. They're slightly in a different spot, but it doesn't matter. My software will actually be able to work out and merge them all together. Now I could do this with a tripod, but you don't always have access to a tripod. Sometimes you're in a situation where you're not allowed a tripod, like some caves that I've been in recently. So this would be a way that you can make sure everything's in focus in a dark room. This is the Case Air from Tether Tools. And this device plugs into your camera and it means that you can wirelessly connect up to your phone or to a computer and I can actually see what's on my screen by clicking on the button there and you can control the whole thing with this device as well so you can focus and so forth but what we're going to do with this is actually focus stack using this actual application and the case air so you find focus stacking right here on the screen you click on it it gives you the option of how many images it's going to take and let's say we want to take four for this and how many steps that's how far apart it's going to focus you start with the focusing on the front and it does the job for you with the rest of it now this is, works really really well on a tripod but it also works on freehand if you don't actually have a tripod so what I'm going to do is set it to that and then I am going to just uh, stand here so that my camera doesn't move very much. First of all, I can actually focus using this or the camera itself. I'm going to focus so that I'm accurate using my focus point and focus on this part of the tripod and change it. 
like that. So at this point, the first shot that I take, uh, the back is going to be out of focus. So what I want to do here is focus stack. So I switch it over to focus stacking, change it to three different shots and press and it'll take three shots, one after the other, and it will actually change the focus point. So you do have to wait and stay as still as you possibly can. And it says success, shooting is complete. So now we have three different shots. That one, which is focused more at the back, this one here, which is focused around this point. And this one here, which I got out of frame a little bit, probably have to reshoot, but that was focused at the very front of the truck. So you need to hold your camera as steady as you can so you don't get your truck out of focus. But the concept is that this app actually does the work for you. And then you take it into Photoshop to focus stack it all together. So you can do that with your manual shots that you took on your camera. You can do that with the shots that you used, uh, the focus stacking uh, with the KC app. And then you can bring it all together so that it is one image that is in focus from front, front to back, which is what you want to do when you're compositing. So I'll show you on the screen now how you would bring it together in Photoshop. Now that you've loaded your images into Lightroom, it's now time to focus stack them in Photoshop. I've actually created an action that makes it even easier for you to do this. So all you need to do is first of all choose out the ones that are focus stack, the ones that you took in order, make sure they were all in the same timing and they are relatively the same in terms of look and color and shade. Now they may not be exactly in the same place because if you didn't have a tripod, you might have moved a little bit. That is okay, this action will actually fix all of that for you. So what you need to do in Lightroom to start off with is to select all of these images and you might want to be in library mode so that you can choose them and see which ones you need. So you select them all, right click, edit in, and open as layers in Photoshop. Now if you don't use Lightroom, you can actually just open all of these and make sure that they're individual layers in Photoshop in the one file. But this is a quick way of doing it from Lightroom, making sure your color and tone are all the same. So open as layers in Photoshop. That will take a little bit of time, but it'll load and open into Photoshop for you. So you can now see that it's loading all of the layers and it is setting them up. So ready for you to actually focus stack. So having all of the layers in the one file means that you can basically click a button and focus stack them straight away. So now that they're all loaded, you can see that if we turn them off, they're not matching up completely. You should have loaded in your action and focus stack should be there. And all you need to do, you don't even need to worry about how it's doing this, just to know it is doing it, is press play. That action will run what it is doing. It's aligning all of the layers first. Once it's aligned them all and put them all in the right spot so they match up, it then does the focus stacking for you. So it's blending all of the different shots together and pulling out the sharpest points of each of the shots. Very, very clever. And it is making it so that your whole track is in focus from front to back. You can see at the moment, it's blurred out at the back uh, with the first shot and last shot, it's blurred out at the front. And we want the whole thing to be sharp so that if we're cutting out and using it in something else, it's ready to go. So here we go, it is doing all of the work for us. Now we have a completely sharp front to back little toy van that you can cut out and place in a scene and it wouldn't matter whether your scene was a real scene in real life, it wouldn't look like a miniature anymore. It would look like it was shot in a, with a very narrow aperture and so this is one way around needing to use a wide aperture or shooting miniatures. You can simply make sure that you've focused at different points and then you use this focus stacking 
action and it will do all the work for you. Let's run through this process again with the image that I shot manually using my focus points and I focused on the front, the middle here and the back point. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that they are matching up with regards to the lighting and the colour. If you find that they're still not exactly accurate, you can use the other action that I've created to match them up a bit better in Photoshop. So we're going to bring them into Photoshop now at this point, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right, now that we've got these images loaded into Photoshop as layers, we're just going to hit focus stack again. We let it run through its whole process until it's stacked everything together. And you can see that now we have a pretty good image here of the iron box in focus from front to back. So if we go back to the original version, you can see how much it drops off towards the back there. But with our focus stacking, it brings the whole thing into focus. So that is how you would walk around with your camera. Don't worry about whether you've got the tripod, you can actually do this handheld. Keep it as still as possible. Take three to six shots from front to back in focus and then throw it all together in Photoshop.